Hey guys, just want to show off this uh, Ur guys build I've been doing. <clears throat> it's got a 21.3 inch screen. Gave it uh, lights, custom everything. I haven't finished the marquee yet. Top's not quite straight. I haven't bolted it down yet. You have an HDMI out on the side. Then for the HDMI out, so you don't have to sit in front of this thing, I built a couple custom controllers and wires that I had to build. Yeah, I used the VGA breakout boards and 16 con or yeah, 15 conductor wire to get those built. It's 26 foot. Works pretty good. It looks nice though. It's going through a GBS 8220 with two VGAs out. Uh, one of those VGAs is going to the monitor, the other one's going to the VGA to HDMI converter, which is working perfectly. Looks good. Everything pops up the right way. Alright, get this thing right here. These are custom controllers that I built. I've only got one done, but I got the other one ready to go. Yeah, it's a uh, basic components. There's the breakout board in here. Going to the back. Everything was hand done. It's not perfect, it's not finished, but it's a start, you know. And it works nice. Let's get this thing hooked up. It's a little messy in there. There we go. Uh -huh. Everything lights up nice. Everything works good. Yeah, I love her guys, and I've never had an arcade. I always wanted to build one, so... This is the way I went. I just bought one and it fried because the ground touched something bad, like a negative five or something. And ordered another one after doing some more studying and it works out. Got the audio up here. It's a, in case you don't want to listen to the same audio over and over again while you're trying to beat scores, it's got Bluetooth. I added a button up here for Bluetooth so it switches to Bluetooth automatically and starts hunting for a Bluetooth device and connects and up here you got the volume control up da or da up down then you got left right and play and pause so you can control your Bluetooth devices without having to actually touch your phone. Um, I used computer grates for fans for the speaker covers because I couldn't really find anything that just seemed to work too well. Up here I have a hidden button that I'm actually going to make so you have to hold down player one and then hit. So it'll take you into the test screen, but right now it just takes you to the test. Everything seems to work pretty good. I haven't had any problems with it. It's got a lot of hours. Yeah, I made it two players, so it's got two ports. These are a little bulky, but they work. They all screw in, so don't come out on you. Uh, with this I went with a compact layout because I didn't have a lot of room. That's why it's different than, you know, it's more of a PlayStation control than it is the actual arcade. With this one I went more with the original arcade layout. You know, it's like a, a little closer. It's more like this and then straight across, but I wanted it 